What a difference a week makes as the Maple Leafs rattle off three straight victories and are now sitting second in the Atlantic Division. Hey everyone, Rob Wong joined alongside by national NHL columnist Michael Trakos. And Michael, not sure how many people would have bet that after their disastrous West Coast road trip that the Leafs would win three in a row, especially with the Bruins and Hurricanes as a part of that schedule. I know it's just three games. We don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, but has this Maple Leafs team turned a corner? Well, here's what I know, Rob. You're not firing Sheldon Keith this week. <laughs> You're probably not fi- uh, firing Kyle Dubas <laughs> as well. You know, I took a lot of heat for suggesting that those are two options that the Leafs should make, either switching the coach or the GM. And I think a week ago, you know, everyone would have taken at least one of those options because the Leafs, you know, it, it's one thing to lose and to come out flat at the beginning of the year, but – when you're losing against the bottom rung teams, the, the Montreal Canadiens, the Arizona Coyotes, the Anaheim Ducks, you can't lose to those teams. So you mentioned what a week uh, can make for this Leaf team. And, you know, th- this is a classic example of a Leaf team that, you know, is playing to its opponent and whatever level that is. If, if it's a bottom rung team, they're playing to that level. And as we saw against Boston and Carolina, well, this team can really ramp it up when it needs to. So, those are encouraging signs. Another encouraging sign is that, you know, Austin Matthews, William Nylander, John Tavares, and Mitch Marner are showing up in a big way that, in a way that they weren't a week ago. So, you know, when, when the top dogs are scoring and they're carrying the offense, a lot of these, this team's problems on defense and in net can really kind of, you know, go to the wayside. And I think that's what we saw in the last week. Now, it's not all rainbows and sunshine right now in Leafs land. They are dealing with some major goaltender issues. Ilya Samsonov got hurt against Boston. He's going to be out for a while. Matt Murray is set to practice with the team this week, but there's no definitive date for his return. So it's Eric Schalgren and rookie Keith Petrozelli for the time being. The Leafs are at the max 50 contracts, so uh, they would obviously have to make some moves to uh, make a move. But do they need to do something here, Michael, or can they just run with these two young, uh, inexperienced goal? I think for the time being, this is what you're going to have to see out of this Toronto Maple Leafs team. I, I don't think they have the cap space to make a move. And, you know, with Murray on the horizon of coming back, whatever that may mean, it, it could mean a couple weeks, it could mean maybe two more months. The Leafs don't know. And until they get a firm understanding of uh, how long Matt Murray is going to be out, um, it's really premature to make a move. Samsonov, same deal. Um, that knee injury could, you know, if, if, as long as it's not a, a season a long injury, I don't think you're going to make a move in that. And, you know, the Leafs play Vegas on uh, Tuesday, and that's a team that, you know, lost Robin Lanner. They lost their backup goalie and has really been getting it done with Logan Thompson and Aiden Hill, who coming into this year, I think, had combined for fewer than 200 NHL games. So right now that's the best tandem in the NHL. So, you know, you don't necessarily need uh, top-rung goaltending to get it done in the NHL. And, you know, Colorado was an example of that, winning a championship with Darcy Kemper. But for the time being, I think the Leafs, as long as they're getting that offense, like we mentioned with Matthews scoring, uh, maybe they don't need a goaltender. Maybe they just need a guy who can allow, you know, fewer than three goals a game. Goaltending aside, the Leafs, like every team, looking for some upgrades at some point this year. Right now, what do you think are the biggest pressing needs for this Leafs lineup? Is it up front with another scoring forward, or is it on the back end with another top four? I still think it's on the defense. And, you know, they get Timothy Lilligren back on the weekend. That's a great sign for the Leafs. I think Lilligren is a top four defenseman on this team. But, you know, you're still missing Jake Muzzin's physicality and everything that he brings. And I don't think that's going to get replaced with either Lilligren or Sandine or whoever comes up from the minors. So, you know, long term, this team needs another top four defenseman, a guy that can kill penalties, a guy that can play a little tougher in the defensive end. And they really don't have that right now. The closest they have is Justin Hall and Mark Giordano, two guys who I don't think are in the same category as Muzzin when he's healthy. So top of the priority list, I think, is still a defenseman whether that's Jacob Chikrin or someone else, they just need someone that can log top four minutes. Well, it's another big week ahead for the Maple Leafs with Vegas and Sidney Crosby and the Penguins coming to town. For all of Michael's great NHL coverage, you can find it out, find it at Post Media, and you can find him on Twitter at Michael underscore Dracos.